and welcome back to my channel. I've been wanting to try a recipe or an idea that I've seen on several other YouTubers videos to make smash burger tacos. So I'm starting by making some Thousand Island salad dressing to use as the burger sauce. And I put some mayonnaise into a bowl with some sweet pickle relish, some ketchup. I'm adding chili powder and garlic powder to that and then mixing it up really well. Now that the sauce is made, I am just going to put the french fries out on a baking sheet to get them into the oven and we're just going easy with prepared frozen french fries tonight. And these turned out to be really good crispy fries baked in the oven. As a side dish for our smashed burger tacos. This is a really good idea for hamburgers especially if you planned on having hamburgers but forgot to buy the buns. This is a good alternative to use a flour tortilla. I have two fry pans on my stove getting hot and so I took two tortillas and I am just taking uh, about two to three ounces of hamburger and smashing it out really thinly onto the tortillas. And I am trying to go as far to the edge of the tortilla as I can. This hamburger is 80-20 as far as fat content. And so now that I have it all smashed out onto the tortilla, I am just putting it onto the hot frying pan. And you'll need to turn your frying pan down. Uh, by the time you get the burger cooked, it might cook the tortilla too much. So turn it down to about a six or a four if you have an electric stove. If not, if you have gas, then turn it down really low. The burger side was done, so I flipped it over and I am just adding some steak seasoning to the top here. If you wanted to add taco seasoning, you could do that and make it more of a taco, smash taco, I guess. Um, or you could just add salt and pepper and garlic or garlic salt to that. So I am just uh, making more of these and flipping them over and they don't need to go very long on the tortilla side. You don't want to get them black like I did the first couple that I tried. And I'm adding some cheese to a couple of these because we have some people who really like cheeseburgers in our family. So I am just adding cheese to that. That one I forgot to add the seasoning to the burger, so I just added it on top of the cheese. The recipes that I've seen or the people that I've seen making these on YouTube are all doing them on a Blackstone grill. And I don't have one of those, so I told my husband that I was just going to try it in the frying pan. And he didn't think that it was going to work, but it worked out just fine. I, you saw I was able to flip them over just fine. So just like that, I had six of these made and I am getting the condiments ready for 
our burgers, uh, some shredded lettuce, and some sliced tomato. I'm getting a plate ready to plate up. And so I put some of the French fries on that plate. They turned out crispy and seasoned and oh so good. And I put some shredded lettuce on my burger, some tomato, some pickles. I've got bread and butter pickles here. You can use dill, uh, any kind of pickle that you like. And then I also have some, you can use regular onions or I have some pickled onions here that I made and I am going to go back to the day before and show you how I made those. In a clean jar, and this is just a spaghetti sauce jar, I didn't even take the label off, I put a cup of water into that jar and now I am measuring out a half a cup of apple cider vinegar and I am adding that to the jar the recipe calls for just one tablespoon of sugar but when I've made it in the past I like it a little sweeter so I put three tablespoons of sugar in there white sugar you can use less if you want and one and a half teaspoons of salt and then I am just going to shake that up so that it dissolves. And then slice up some red onion that I have. Uh, the recipe calls for a whole onion and I just had a half of an onion. And so I am slicing that up really thin and adding it to the vinegar water mixture and stirring it really well. The great thing about this recipe is that once I use all of the onion out of the brine, I can slice up more onion and put it in. And I can do that about three or four times before I need to make fresh brine. Maybe I can even do it more than four times. I don't know. I will leave the recipe to the pickled onions as well as the smash burger tacos in the description box of this video. And there you have homemade pickled onions Great on burgers, on tacos, on pizza. Leave a comment in the comment section on what you like to put pickled onions on. So back to the next day and there goes the pickled onions onto my smash burger. And then I am just going to top it with that burger sauce that we made. You could put mustard and ketchup on this if you didn't want to do the burger sauce. So it's whatever you like. You could even do barbecue sauce on that and that would be great too. So here I have this all plated up and here we have the smash burger taco that doesn't want to stay shut. So I put a little uh, toothpick in it so I could take pictures. It was yummy. Uh, my family all liked it. And they would all be very happy if I made it again. 
So you just need some tortillas, taco sized tortillas, some 80-20 ground beef, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, onions if you like them, and add some french fries as a side dish. Thank you so much for watching. And again, the recipes for this, for all of these things will be in the description box. Please like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're able to. Thanks again. Goodbye.